Hello, my name is Katsuya Fukushima. I'm the uh, executive chef of Jose Andes Catering with Rituals. And today we're going to be making whole red snapper encrusted in salt and baked with a scordalia sauce or puree and a green sauce. Right now we're just going to cut off these fins. They're not necessary and they're very sharp so you need a good pair of kitchen shears. Now that this all cleaned, we're going to take the herbs. Nice sprig of rosemary right in the cavity, some oregano, and a bay leaf. If you have dry, it's fine. Fresh is also good. What you want to do is you want to put the fresh herbs in there so that when it does bake, the flavor flavors the fish from the inside out. Here, take the remaining herbs. Rosemary, the same herbs that you stuffed it with. Oregano. Because you are going to chop it up, it doesn't matter if you have take it off to clean it off the branch. For this fish, which is about two and a half pounds, you'll need about four pounds of salt. So this is a three pound box. And I prefer kosher salt, right into the bowl. And if you're gonna use uh, any other salt, sea salt would be fantastic. It's about four pounds. I'm gonna take these chopped herbs, right into the salt. Take some water, pour it right in. Just gonna put it a little bit at a time because you don't want the salt to be too wet. And you just stir and incorporate the water. And what you're trying to get is a, a wet sand texture. So when you squeeze a little bit of it, it should come together. And that's gonna pack very nicely when you encrust the fish. So now we have this pan. I'm going to put a little base of salt on the bottom so the fish isn't directly on the pan. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. If you want to get it out, spread it out to be about the same size as the fish. Now we're going to take this fish, this beautiful red snapper, lay it right on top of the salt. And now we're going to cover it. And just like you're at the beach and you're going to cover your sister up with sand. Very, very sand. Bring this guy up. Pack it in. This fish is two and a half pounds, so it's 10 minutes for every pound of fish. So it's going to take 25 minutes in the oven at 375. All right, so now we're going to do this green sauce. We have all the ingredients here. It's pretty simple. Fresh picked uh, parsley. We got uh, white pepper, kosher salt, capers, and some nice anchovies. This is uh, Greek olive oil. Dump two thirds of the parsley in. Capers, anchovies, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're going to dump all the olive oil in there. And you just let the blender do the magic. What you have here is this very nice puree. And then we're going to add the remaining parsley just to give it a little of a body to it. Okay, now we're going to continue on. We're going to make the scordalia, which is the potato puree. We have some potatoes, garlic, salt and pepper, Greek olive oil again, white wine vinegar. What we want to do is take this garlic, this whole cloves of garlic, and brown them until you get a nice colored uh, garlic clove, which is nice and brown. And then we have some potatoes that are already cooking. And I like to cook my potatoes whole. Because what happens is it doesn't absorb as much as uh, water as uh, if you chopped it up in chunks. So we have this racer. What it does is uh, it forces the, the product to go through these little holes. And if you don't have a, a racer, you can always just mash it with traditional way with a masher. Well, now you just take your white wine vinegar, your olive oil, salt, pepper. Now what we're gonna do is crack it. And you can see the salt is nice and hard. And once you, if you do this at the table, when you take this top off, the aromas just come right up. And because of the uh, scales, you can see that none of the uh, salt has stuck to it. Surprisingly, it doesn't get salty like most people would think. So now we're just gonna kind of peel the skin away from behind the head. It comes right off. 
So we're gonna do just follow the backbone. Oh my god, look how tender that thing is. And then what you can do is take this salt right here, which has the rosemary and the oregano, just crumble up in your hands, season the fish. Get a little bit of Greek olive oil left. Okay. 